Hey, um, it's Mabel, right? Can I talk to you in private? Sure, I guess. I know that it was you who planted the knife on me. Did you tell the principal? No, I did not. Simply because... First, I wanted to know your side of the story. Why would you do it? <sighs> it's because of the chemistry test. That chemistry test w meant the world to me. And you cheated. I didn't cheat. But, but that's impossible. You're so pretty, you're so beautiful. Everyone loves you, you have such beautiful fur. Such beautiful clothes. Because I might have nice fur, that does not mean I'm stupid. Why do you have to have such a perfect life then? I don't have a perfect life. My dad left when I was three years old. My mom is sick and barely has any money. That's why I have to work at the ice cream shop at the weekends. What about the popular squad? They don't have a perfect life either. Nobody has. Oh, come on. Don't tell me Rebecca doesn't have a perfect life with all her dad's money. Oh, don't even get me started on Rebecca's daddy issues. And Karen hates the way she looks. Always when she looks into the mirror, she sees another thing that's wrong with her. And Sophie is so scared of going to college or university because she knows she's not going to get in, in, into any of them. What about Brandon? Brandon's parents died in a car accident when he was four years old, and he's lived with his aunt ever since. Nobody's life is perfect, and just because you have problems doesn't mean other people have ones too. Think about that. What have I done? Why do I have to be so selfish all the time? Huh? This is Cora. Hey, hey Cora, um, how did you get my number? Your friend Sarah gave it to me. Why are you calling? My mom's in the hospital. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, is she okay? Mm, not really. Can you please come? Uh, of course. Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm really sorry for your mom. She'll get better. She always does. Um, so can I just ask, why did you call me? Why didn't you call Rebecca? Rebecca wasn't answering, and since I thought you should make it up to me, I decided to call you. Yeah, of course, and... Look, I am seriously sorry for assuming what I assumed and for thinking all of you guys had the perfect life and I realize now that I was horribly wrong. If you'd forgive me, I would be so grateful. Look, I'm going to forgive you, but I will never forget this. Um, luckily I did not get expelled from school. And... I think we can be good friends. Let's get to know each other a little. Sure.